Welcome to Knit, Knit One, One Heart, Heart Two, episode thirty-four. Yay! And we are at four hundred and ninety members on the Ravelry group. Um, so, everybody, if we make five hundred before next week's recording, we will be showing you prizes and doing the drawings for those prizes next week. Next week. So sign up if you haven't already. We're going to draw from the members list, so if you are a member, you are eligible. Yeah, except for us. Maybe we should do wait until we're 502. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> maybe we'll wait until we're 502. Well, I forgot that we were members. <laughs> but I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Wendy on Ravelry, Penny Wendy 2 on Spark People. I'm Sheila, also known as Sheila D37 on... Ravelry and Spark People. Because I could tell we were going. Under well, I see I have it here and I kept trying to, but we well, just didn't get there. I was just so excited about the prize of Palooza. <laughs> it's my so, fault. I want to say welcome to any new viewers and any returning viewers. Welcome back. And if you would like to join our Ravelry group, there is a button right over Wendy's head to the left, to right, wherever. Right over there. Yep. And if you link on that, I think it goes to Ravelry. It goes right to our group page. And, and unfortunately, you, like you do have to be a member of Ravelry, but it's fun. It's addicting. Go yes. It. Lots of free patterns. Lots of pattern information on patterns that are not free. It's a good thing. And um, I'm sorry about last week's show notes. They are not now. I'm sorry. Um, I will try and get better. But I would like to say, if somebody could link her stuff in her project page, it would make show notes a little easier. What's not in my project page? The bibs. Your hat. Oh. Um, let's see. Well, the hat the doesn't. mittens. The hat doesn't have a. But you still would need oh, to have your own project page. Yeah. So that, because I link all of our projects to our project pages. Oh, well, sorry. Get on the ball. <laughs> I'm sure that's the whole reason why you do the show notes. No, that's not the reason. I will freely admit that it's is not fault. the reason. I, no, 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 no. no. It has nothing to do with you. It's completely my fault. It just would make it easier for yes, people. Because somebody emailed us asking for the bib pattern. Oh. And I'm like, well, she should have it in her, show no uh, in her project page. I'm like, well, no, if she doesn't. <laughs> I know. I'd also like to say thank you to Martha Goldie Bear, who did a very nice uh, donation to us on our podcast. Yay, we're going to um, need that. Wow. We're yeah. going to need that for our prize pizza. Yeah, well, we're going to need it for shipping. Yeah. So I'm excited. And can't let's wait. jump right on in. Okay. On the so dance card. You're going? Yeah, I'll go first. Um... I have All Hands on Deck Top Down Mittens by Rachel of Diabolical Yarns done in the Lona's Laces Team Color Sport. Yeah, this is still the first one. It saw no love this week. Aww. Absolutely no love. Part of it was because I haven't wound up the second ball yet. Another part of it is, is I have to make sure I have the notes as to how many stitches I cast on and when I started the pattern. Ah. So that was a fail on my part. I did cast on two new things. And I'm going to show this and please don't laugh. It doesn't look very good. I know, right it now. doesn't look very good. Oh, this is for a monster swap. If you're my swap <laughs> partner, can you please look away? You never I remember. I unfortunately don't remember the name. This is a different person, so we're on a different swap oh, yeah, now. I know, you and your swap. Right. Well, monster swaps. This one's I know. Cute. I it know. has to be one of those $5 postal boxes, you know, the right. small ones. So if you're my partner, please turn away unless you want to be spoiled. So she's got two boys. It's a mini swap or a Christmas ornament swap, and she'd prefer a mini that she can have around the house all year round because she has two boys. They're younger than mine. Uh, one is, oh, one's one year and one's four months. So, you know, oh, they're, yeah, they're really they're young. Little. So I decided to do a girly theme. So this is going to be a mini Quincy Quaid. And if you're not familiar with Quincy Quaid of Rebecca Danger's Monsters, I brought down a larger version of him that I made for Zachary. That's so cute. And uh, I think it's a little longer because my row gauge is smaller than her row gauge was. So I did it to 11 inches instead of 110 rows. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a Quincy Quaid. And it's made out of sock yarn. And you kind of just knit a tube until you're pretty much tired of it. So this is going to be a mini one. And I'm using pink yarn that Wendy had given me from her. Some of the scrap yarn. I think we think it's blue moon. It could be. It's really hot pink. I mean, what? It's either blue moon or cherry tree hell. Well, uh, I think it's blue moon because of the twist. It is really a hot, hot pink. 
It's very pretty. And um, I had to modify the feet because what I did to do this is I just basically took the numbers of Quincy Quaid, which is a um, paid for pattern, and halved it. And the foot, I so took you. <laughs> the foot on the real one actually has a gusset. On the real one, on the large one, has a gusset. See right here? Yeah. This one, I just did a short row heel. That's cute. Yeah. I love it. And it's I'm so on, cute. it is cute. I'm excited about it. And I'm on the leg arms now. And the legs I did separately, the arms I'm doing two at a time because I am kind of getting short on yarn. I, I think I'll have plenty. I think so. And so, um, this doesn't have to be to her until December 10th, but she's in the UK. Oh, so you want to so make sure. So, a week or two ahead of time, especially during the. Um, Holiday, holiday. So this is a Rebecca Danger pattern. It is not in her book. It is one that you have to pay for separately. I believe it's six dollars, and it's done on U.S. one and a half needles, two point five millimeters, out of a mystery pink, very vibrant pink yarn. And uh, if I find out what this is, I think it may get a skein of it because I just yeah, I think it socks that rock. It's, it's just a nice color pink, and it would be great for like toes and heels with something else, or maybe striping. Striping. Yeah, that's pretty. Pink and white, that sounds cool. Sorry. Um, I also have another toy on the needles. This is half of a monster chunk. And it's a free pattern. Which is a free pattern, and this is doubled acrylic yarn. I think it's Red Heart. No, I don't use Red Heart. Vanna's Choice before, I think it might be Vanna's. So it's just the first half. So um, I'm meeting up with this little boy tomorrow. We're going to, that will be in the Gossip and Innuendo. I'm going someplace tomorrow. Unfortunately, not with Wendy and her mom. <laughs> but um, the little boy who's a little over one is going with us, so I figured give him something to be occupied with. Yeah, he would like that. So it is super thick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> super thick. That's, <laughs> That's on so US 8, 5.0 millimeters. And, um, oops. That's also Rebecca, but that's a free pattern. The last thing on the needles is Max's hoodie. You can't really see that. It's like a charcoal gray. Um, I started it. I would have had more to do with this, but um, yeah, that will be discussed in Heartbreaks. Right now, it's currently on a US 9 meat needle, which is what, 5.5 millimeters? I think so. I think they go up by half. And um, I haven't bought the rest of the yarn, so that kind of works out good that I haven't gone too far. <laughs> uh, I had coupons from Michaels and AC Moore for 25% off your entire purchase. Yeah. That was last week. Didn't get a chance to go there. So we'll be looking for coupons like that this week. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they'll have them. That's all I have on my needles. Okay. Um, let me take a look at my show notes so I can remind myself. Well, the first thing I'm working on that's on the needles right now is I'm doing Pretty. another... Um, I love Stockinette Baby Bib by Laura Treadway. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. That's really, I like those colors. Yeah, I bought this um, at Michael's the other day. And um, I have a funny story about this. So this Baby Bib, I'm knitting it up and I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> this great. bib looks so much more like Lightning's bibs on Ravelry. Like, it just looks squarer and rounder. I'm like, wow, this really looks different. And I realized, where did I put it out here, that on on my first bib. Oh, you didn't tell me that. I know, a surprise. On my first bib, you're going to notice right away. Let me hold the first hold one up. The, hold the first one up. Notice uh, how different they are? <laughs> because uh, I only did the increases to here on the first bib. Instead of doing the additional increases, you can see on the bottom. Oh. I just I, I I like left out a whole section of the pattern. I mean, uh, it's still a perfectly nice bib, but oh, this one I obviously. I, as soon as I knit this, I was like, oh. <laughs> that's why it was so much smaller and, and more rectangle. Yeah, instead of wide and square. See? Oh. I I only oh, it looks I only so much better. Yeah, it does. See how nice and round it is on the corners? And see how it's really square here. Yes, because it's I... It's still a cute bib, though. Yeah, I left out a whole section of increases. Ah. So, yes, I now, I now know my mistake. <laughs> I like it a lot. I know. It's I love this yarn. Go. This is, um, I think it's just peaches and cream from 
I think that's all that's selling nowadays because the other one, the other one went. One of them went discontinued. Cream, sugar and cream. No, peaches and cream is discontinued. discontinued. So this must sugar be sugar and cream. And cream. Um, I, got, I don't know what I did with the label, but um, I, it's just the stuff that you can buy at Michael's. I was going to say, AC Moore is selling the cones of peaches and cream for $5. Hmm, good to know. Well, I'm making this. That's so cute. Um, these two are for the girl baby that is coming. And then I brought in to show this. I will be making two more for my cousin's baby. Who is a who's boy. a boy? I got the green and the blue variegated. So it's sugar and cream. That's okay. Now, are you oh gonna... no, this one's scented. <laughs> Crap! You can't smell that though. I didn't, I didn't I notice it. It's not that bad. Who knew? That? I didn't know. See, it says I didn't scented. Know they sent, sold scented. Scents. I what? don't know what the scent is. Now, are you gonna do to the be? whole ones like that, or are you gonna do all to, like um? Aloe vera scented. Oh. <laughs> You're going to do like the eye cord in the opposite color or? I might do that because that's kind of cute. Because I think those two colors would go well yeah, together. Yeah, I think those are. And I like the way that Lightning mm. from our group did that. And it turned that out, really, out cute. really good. So, yeah, I was hoping that um, by the time I went, this would be a finished project. It's very, very close. And you just dropped your needles. Yeah, I know. I have like three more inches to do on the eye cord. And, yes, I am using this for eye cord. You can knit eye cord on a um, on a circular, but it's really fiddly. If you have, um, what do you call them? If you have a uh, double DPNs. points, I would <laughs> recommend using those. My double, I, I keep mine upstairs in a in a can like a holder, and I was too lazy to go up and get them. <laughs> and now this is I don't even know how this is going to work anymore. Um, let me see if I can help you with that. I've, I've become a pro at eye cords lately. Though. Yeah, can you f get it back on the needles for me? Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Um, once again, I love stockinette baby bib. Free pattern on Ravelry by Laura Treadway. And I'm using US 7 needles. And I don't know the millimeters because I didn't bother to look them up. Sorry. Um, so that's number one. Number two is the Lysianthus Shawl by Rosemary Hill. Designs by Romy is her um, website. It's an $8.50 pattern. On Ravelry, and I'm using US 3 3.25 millimeters I did for the flower and then I switched up to US 4 3.5 millimeter needles for the rest of the shawl which was what the pattern recommended and I remembered to bring it today <laughs> I've worked on it a fair amount this week I don't last week I told you I pulled the tendon in my finger so that I could push down but it hurt to lift my finger up and every time I put the yarn over I move my finger so I haven't knit very much this week um, to give my hand a rest because it was really bothering me but it feels pretty good today now if I may ask a question yes crocheting did it bother you I didn't crochet either. Oh, really? I like okay. led, I totally okay. I probably hurt my finger crocheting. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm not sure, but that might have been it. Oh. So this is how much I've gotten done so far. There's the center flower. And I've gotten through I'm on the third chart. First repeat of the I'm almost done with the first repeat of the third chart of the pattern. I love it. And I'm doing it in um Ivy Bramble's yarn, uh, the night sky colorway. It's the Romantica base, which is 100% merino, and mm. I love, I love the color. I, I like the leaf over here. Like, really, I mean, the Romantica really pops out the patterns too. Yeah, it Look has good that. stitch See? definition. Look at that. It has very nice stitch definition. This is a very clear, well written pattern. Um, the, I've had a couple of little missteps. But it was because I didn't read carefully, which is my tendency. Knitter error. Knitter error. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the second repeat of the of chart C. So I've done chart A, chart B, and the first repeat of chart C. Chart C is repeated four times. Um, and then I have D, E, and F to do. But it's it's relaxing. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's a very simple pattern. It looks pretty. Um, I have to try some of that uh, yarn and fiber yeah. Romantica. And the Romantica is great, and I tell it every time I mention Yarn and Fiber Company, they have free shipping. So you can buy a skein by mail the same for the same cost that it would be if you actually went to the store and purchased it. 
which is nice to know. Um, and they do free shipping. doesn't matter how much you order. It's free shipping all the time. And it's just really pretty. It, it, this um, camera doesn't do it justice. It's a smoky gray with these pops of really, you can see it a little bit right there, these pops of really bright blue. Um, and I love it. So, so I think this I is like my third or fourth shawl. Yeah, it's nice yeah, With here. Romantica, yeah. With Romantica. It's one of my favorite lace bases that I use. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. Me. Sorry. So there's that. Um, the other thing that got no love this week was the um, Flowered Hexagon Blanket by Jesse Rayot, which I now am thinking in my mind, and thank you, Lisa at Webbs, is the clown barf blanket. Oh. <laughs> like, I just think of it automatically but not in like a bad that. way. No, I love okay. this blanket. Lisa, not so much. Didn't love the blanket. It's okay. Teach their own. Um, yeah, that's, you know, I like the clown barf thing. Um, but this is Jesse Rayot, free pattern on Ravelry. I'm still using a USD, US3 hook, whichever way you like to call it. Um, and all the fingering weight yarns. And I thought I'd just point out that the little monster that Sheila is making is made out of the same yarn that I did this hexagon out of. Because I took a little bit of yardage off it and then I gave the rest to her to make her monster. Thank you. So, yeah, no love this week, though. I didn't have a lot of free time, and I'll explain why later. Um, and then the last but not least for our Mitten Knit Along, I am doing the Sel Bouvat or Not Mitten by um, Tori Rote Designs. It's free on Ravelry, and I'm doing it in County Effect Garn in the rainbow EQ colorway. Did that see anything? Got no love. Okay. Nothing except for the lace got love, and the lace I had to put down because my finger kept hurting. So um, I did work on the bibs a little bit. I was hoping to get the bibs done by Wednesday because my oh, hairdresser right. is the one who's having the baby. Oh. Hi, Kara, if you watch this. I don't think she does. But um, but then I realized quickly that I wasn't. So um, I figured I'll just give it to her when I see her in December. I'll see her in four weeks. just going to say you're going to see her soon enough anyway. I know. I, go, I have to go every four weeks. I have a lot of gray hair. Um, so yeah, no love on that, but I'm going to work on that some more this week, and um, hopefully you'll see progress on the mittens and on the um, shawl by next week. And that's all I have on the needles. Wait, your date? I have nothing. Um... I have nothing finished, and actually, rate your date next week. The monster chunk will not be there because it's going to whoever it's going to tomorrow. So hopefully, take a picture. I will. But um, on that note, I'm gonna just step out so I can blow my nose. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And while she leaves, I will be happy to tell you that on rate my date, I have absolutely nothing. But this is a good time for me to do our infrequent whirlwind oh, romance. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I was able to do this week during the strained tendon incident <laughs> was um, I've been working on some, now my nose is itching, I've been working on some um, spinning on the wheel that I'm borrowing from Sheila. Um, the It's an Ashford traditional and I bought a four ounce bump of Ram Rambouille, Rambouille, I don't know how to say it, from Brewer Gnome, Gnome Spun in the Daylily colorway, and uh, at Mass Sheep and Wool. Yep, I remember. And I love it. I've been spinning it. I've got about, I got about two ounces spun, and I wanted to teach myself how to Navajo ply. So this is most of the two ounces Navajo plied. It came out really good. Um, it's a little over twisted, a little bit, not much. Um, let's see if I can. You can see it's got thicks and thins again. It's like a mustard color. It's like but yeah, a better mustard color. It's like a pretty, a, golden a pretty golden, golden yellow brown, color. Yeah. It's got its thick and thin. I'd say it's a heavy DK, light worsted for the most part. Um, I'll probably make a hat out of it. That's the the big skein. It's still a little damp because I um, I finished plying it yesterday. Navajo plying was fun. Um, I had never done it before, and I'm going to give you some information about it because what it does for those of you who don't aren't really into spinning is it allows you to make a three plied 
yarn from a single um, spindle. spindle. So here's the rest of it. This is this hasn't been thwacked yet or soaked um, because I'll probably join the rest of it. This whole this is about two ounces of the four, so I'm gonna get this much more when I do the second half of the yarn. But since oh, all right, so you still have another. I still have another two oh, ounces all right. to spin. The um the issue with the wheel that I'm borrowing is there's only one spindle. All right. Um, it just came that way, and um, so. It's easier for me, I, well one of the reasons why I did Navajo plying, it's easier for me to work with it if it's just one spindle. And what I do is I wind the yarn off the spindle into a, a ball and put it on a Nasta pinned and then I ply it back onto the spindle um, from the Nasta pinned. And the so, reason you might want to do a Navajo ply is like when you see the gradient yarns, that way it keeps all the color in one or it does a little bit of barber pulling. Yeah, because so you can... you're, you're maintaining the, as the yarn is done, you're maintaining it because you're just plying it onto itself. It's really neat. I tried to explain to my husband what it was and I, he could not visualize it, so I had to show him when I got home. Um, the way that I learned to do it, and I just wanted to let you know, is I watched a video by Sarah Anderson and um, it's an interweave video that I found on YouTube and I'm giving Sheila the link so she can post it in the show notes. Hopefully sooner. Um, and it, basically I just watched how she did the Navajo plying and I taught myself how to do it and the first I'd say 15 minutes was really stressful because <laughs> you have to be doing a lot of stuff you're like holding a loop out and putting a thing through and it was very stressful but um, by the end of the two ounces, I was enjoying it quite a bit, and the reason I wanted to teach myself on this yarn is it doesn't really matter on a um, variegated yarn. Oh, it looks um, pretty, though. It doesn't really matter on a variegated yarn if you make a mistake, but I do have a really pretty gradient yarn from Fiber Optic that I want to spin in a gradient, and, you don't and I wanted to practice <laughs> on something that wouldn't show my mistakes before I went out there, put myself out there, and did the gradient yarn. So now I feel really comfortable with it. Um, I, it's a it's a fast way to three ply. It would be faster to ply from three spindles onto one, but um, I I enjoyed it. So okay. definitely check out that Sarah Anderson video. It was one of the best tutorials that I saw on YouTube, and. Um, I'm living proof that you can teach yourself how to have a fall fly from a video. So that's it for whirlwind romances. So future dates. Future dates. Uh, well, my future dates, I really just want to finish what's on my needles, um, which is the mittens, my monsters, which will be done in no time. And, well, let's face it, next the sweater. It's not going to get finished anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there on that one. But I do want to cast on for a pair of socks, and I may do that tonight because I'm going on a road trip tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of my Franken socks, but I don't know if I want to carry bits and pieces with I me. Wouldn't. So I think I may just wind up. I have actually wound up uh, ready as a uh, skein of Blue Moon Fiber Arts that you had given me. Oh, yeah. So I may just cast Bang that on that the needles. Out. Yeah, cool. So uh, that's all I really have for future dates. Well, I'm um, excited about my future date. Can I have your iPad? Yes, you may. I had Sheila quite cue it up. So, you know, I've been talking about this amazing sweater that I fell in love with at Rhinebeck. That's designed by Stephanie Talent. It's called the Rot Cardigan. And this is a picture of it from her pattern preview page. It's kind of hard to see. Sheila will link to the pattern preview. It's a shawl neck cardigan with twisted stitch um, cabling uh, design I'm sorry. features. Um, I tried this, I tried this exact sweater on. She did. And it fit me. So um, I way. then bought, as we showed you last week, this caper sock, which I'm going to use to hopefully work with the pattern in this beautiful Laguna colorway. Well, I have been in contact with Stephanie Talent because I'm so excited for the pattern to come out. And she has graciously given me a copy of the pattern so that I can test knit it. Yay! So um, you will be seeing that. I haven't cast it on yet. I'm probably going to cast it on in the before next time's episode. Did, did she give you a time limit just out of curiosity? No, because she knows that I might be fussing with the numbers a little bit. Mm -hmm. It hasn't even been tech edited yet. Oh, so right. <laughs> I'm like a guinea pig, but I am so excited about it. And um, I want to tell you that it is going, one of the featured patterns in her upcoming book called California Revival Knits, um, which is being published by Cooperative Press. 
Sheila's going to give you the links in the show notes, but you can get, you can pre-order right now. You can see the, the, I will give you a link to the preview page where you can see three of the patterns that are coming in the booklet, um, all of which she had on display in her booth at Rhinebeck. Um, and you can pre-order either a hardcover book that comes with the digital copy, which is really handy. That's what Isol the Teague did with her book. Ooh. And you can print out just a portion of the book for the pattern. You don't have to make a photocopy. Um, just a side note on that, Fiberista Files, Heather also mentioned her last episode that she got a book that you could, I guess, cooperative does. You can get a hard copy with a digital or you can just or do digital. I was going to say that. So the hard copy Sorry. with the digital version is available for pre-order for twenty six ninety five, or you can buy the digital only book and I think it has something like 15 patterns in it it says on the website I forgot to write it down the digital only version is sixteen ninety five, dollars and um, there are some really lovely patterns I'll show you the other two patterns that are on the preview page so you can see um, there's a very pretty oh, lace pretty. shawl and these are intriguing these peacock mitts which are just gorgeous they have beading and color work and buttons they're really beautiful so that's just a sample um, but it's California Revival Knits by Stephanie Talent and I'm oh, not sure pretty. it's 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 being tech edited right now but I think it's coming out soon I, I it, there's more Don't information she said by the end of the year I she don't thought by the end of the year um, so I am just thrilled that I'm getting to have an advanced copy awesome. of the pattern I would show you the pattern that I printed out but um, it doesn't have any pictures on it because it's just the it's in tech edit, editing right now so you'll be seeing progress on that that's that's the, the one that I'm most excited about so that's it for my whirlwind romance no future dates oh the future dates. We already did whirlwind romance. <laughs> I can't even talk. All right. So crushes and heartbreaks. I got a couple. Work was a heartbreak this week because, as anyone knows, in the Northeast, we got a pretty big snowstorm. <laughs> Not a pretty big. It was a good snowstorm. But the difference was is because we still have leaves on our trees, a lot of trees went down because of the heavy snow. Which yeah. The snow I know Diane Knittables in Colorado, that's... She's used to that. I guess that's fairly common in Colorado because of the higher elevation. It's not common here. It was a heavy, wet snow that stuck on the tree branches and eventually brought the leaves brought down, down and brought a lot of a lot of trees down. Well, so because of that, power went, went out. Well, I had to work Saturday night. My power was out from pretty much the instant I worked, <laughs> eleven o'clock till I came back on about six, which. I, I work for an answering service, and we have to answer for doctors and properties and other things. And we were not able to get in touch with any doctors because all of our information is on computers. It was very <laughs> stressful. Uh, luckily for me, a coworker, normally I am left alone after a certain time frame. That coworker decided to stay with me because I would have been left alone in the dark, except for flashlights <laughs> that probably would have ran out. And there oh were no matches god. to be found for the <laughs> candles that she had. Oh my god! So I actually went out, got another candle, got us some tea, because Dunkin' Donuts still had power on that side of town. <laughs> and we were working by candlelight. Oh my god! And then uh, another co-worker came in at 4 a.m. to relieve this other one, because she was supposed to work later on in the afternoon. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it was fun. I hope to never experience that again. And I, I was pacing up and down, even with the coworker. I can't even imagine if I was by myself. Oh, that would have been I creepy. I, well, I would have <laughs> probably fallen. Oh, I would have definitely locked the door. But I probably would have fallen asleep, honestly, because you're in the dark. Yeah. The phones that would have rang are the old princess-style phones. So yeah. that would have woken me up, no problem. Hello? <laughs> um, uh, but she couldn't watch any... Um... Knitting, um, no, I know podcast because podcasts. my um, the Wi Fi wasn't working. I would have probably played a game or something on my iPad, but yeah. then the power that would have ran out of power and I would have been stuck. So that's one of my heartbreaks. My other heartbreak is back to Max's sweater. So I did my swatch. Wendy and I agreed that size nine was probably the best to work on. Yes, if Swatches, indeed it was a size nine, no, it was because I it redid it on a size nine. Swatches lie because I've started this. I did the ribbing in eight, 
I started this in nine, and if you guys can see, it's so loose. It's too loose, and really. And she's a tight knitter, so it's kind of crazy. Um, so it's really loose. Maybe I should go to that other size nine and see if it makes a difference. I know. I shouldn't. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> that might so be um, I may be ripping this out just to the ribbing and doing it on a size eight. Yeah, I think a size eight will um, be fine. I just am afraid that my wrist will get sore and that it will not be a fun project anymore. Because if you're knitting on a, this is a bulky weight yarn. If you're knitting on a bulky weight yarn with tight needles, or, I you know, know. But if your gauge is that loose, it won't be bad. Five bulky. So it's actually not that much higher than a worsted, because a worsted is four. four. Yeah, I don't, it's not a, so, it's not a super bulky. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. So we'll see. And I have, oh, yeah. I'm having a touch of starditis. I'm wanting to cast on a lot of things, <laughs> fighting it really, really bad because I, I'm one of those that likes to not have too many things on the needles. Three or four is really my limit. Otherwise, I start getting stressed. Yeah, that's so, your stress. Um, that's all for me for my crushes and heartbreaks. I don't have any crushes and heartbreaks this week. Well, that's good. I had a good week. My mom's here. Yeah. She's watching right now. That's your crush. That's my crush. My mom came to town. Would be if mine was. Um, <laughs> it would be a real mine if mine came. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a crush or a heartbreak because that would be kind of scary. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Sheila's my mom passed, passed away about away ten years ago. Years ago. <laughs> so if she were to show up, I think it. I don't know if I'd, I I'd be torn between. It. I'd be torn between excitement and terror. <laughs> She's with me in spirit all the time. She times. is, I know that. and she is loving it that you're crafty now. Oh God, yeah. She's probably having a hoot up there because I was not a crafty person. No, not 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 at all. Not back then. So let's go into the bobbles and blinks. All right. Well, I let's guess. show the big bobbles and blink from my my mom brought us bobbles oh. and bling. I didn't write it on my show notes, but um, it won't be posted either because this is just we've all talked about how mom knit socks. Like yeah, they're going out of style. We don't need an sock knitting machine because no, we have my mom. my mom is a sock knitting machine. <laughs> so she uh, gave us each two pair. This yep. is one pair for for me that I'm holding and that's another pair and I'll see if I can do that too. And then this. See? <laughs> I put mine on right away. And then away. I got this pair. So. Which I wore yesterday. And I'm wearing mine now. And then I got three more pair. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> but this I, match. Th so this this and this and these two are from yarn that I gave my mom the downside of this gift is that they all need to have a little um darning darning my mom had a, a moth incident at her house hey, if you don't feel like darning I'll be more than happy to darn I'm trying to get this <laughs> there you go you can see dude um I love darning so oh, um I do so I, <laughs> no I had, said if you didn't want to I'll take them I'm I know I love darning I'm like shucks I have um <laughs> My mom even brought the leftover yarn oh, that she? matches. Oh, did she? I so. like that one. That, for some reason, that color is pretty. This is that. What is this, Mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the summer socks? It's summer. Is it summer socks? No. no? It's no. the other one. I bought you this for... The salty sheet. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, geez. Yeah. See, here's another thing. The good thing is, is it's not in the wear of the feet, but still, it's, it's an annoyance. It's mostly in the cuffs. That's too um, bad. Except for this one took a lot of damage in the foot. Oh, oh. There's there. Oh. My mom thought at first she had done something wrong. Ooh. See? I don't know if those are. Ooh. So, yeah. And it has a whole I don't think I could do that much damage by wearing them. No, it's it's wow. moth damage. You can tell by the way that it looks that it's moth damage. Too bad. Too bad and for some. And how many socks have you knit? for me. We have mom here with us in case you haven't figured that out. How many? How many did you find in your house? <laughs> this is how many she had in her house. This doesn't no. count all the ones that she had given away. 45 pair. She 45 had 45 pair. pair. In her house. In Never her mind. House. She's already given me a pair that and I And she's given me knit. like at least six pair, seven pair. <laughs> so now I have three pairs. Yay. Yay. I need a new socks. So too. this I was can... good bobbles and bling. I love it when my mom comes. She brings me socks. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I know. This is why I don't need a sock machine. <laughs> so the other bobbles and bling I have, I was hoping for something else, but I don't think my mailman ever came yesterday, so um, I don't have that. But um, Diane from Knittables, I had mentioned how 
if my sweater doesn't work, I wanted to knit, it's called the Wonderful Wallaby, and I didn't um, have the pattern, and it's not something that's downloadable. Yeah. It's so a Diana Knittable sent up me an extra pattern book that she had. It's by Cottage Creations, and it, it's, a, it's a booklet. I'm not showing it. <laughs> You're like showing it off the screen. So it's a booklet. I mean, I don't know when it was first. It was first copyright in 1984. Talk about a pattern that has staying power. Because I know. this is just a simple hooded sweater sweatshirt. And from 1984, I think there's like 2,000 or more patterns on Ravelry alone that has this knit. And it goes from child to adult. So um, I'm going to try, going to try my pattern from what I'm using because I'm using bulky yarn, but there's a style in this that I want to use, and I think it's seed stitch up here that goes, so I want to try and incorporate yeah. that. But thank you, Diane. I really appreciate it. And Diane also gave us each one of her pens. Knittable pen. Knittable pens. I, get... I was like, wow, God. Diane has pens. I know. I'm impressed. I like that. Pens. Look how cute that I is. I love pens. Knittable podcast. I have to and use... And she's got a sock monster. I mean, um, uh, yeah, Rebecca it's the Danger robot. monster. I love pens. I have to use them for work. I have to write some things down. And I work supplies right... pens, yeah. but I don't use these because, let's face it, there's like 20 people touching those pens. <laughs> I got a kid who gets sick. <laughs> a kid with immune. Do you know how many people we've had, like, pneumonia and stuff in that place? Oh, no, I'm not surprised. You're laughing at me, so... but it's the truth. I wipe everything down with... If Sheila has scissors, I will be able to have a rate your date right now. I just finished the bib. There you oh. go. <laughs> wow. Superhuman. I don't have scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was short enough for you. I mean, oh, I, I, just, done. I just got to um, run it. The other bottles and bling I have is also for the swap. So if you're my swap partner, please look away. And something in here is... Bless you. Bugging me big time. My Probably. brother. No, my brother came over with his dog, and I'm starting to wonder if I'm allergic to her. her. Bless <laughs> yeah, you. They might be. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I did take my allergy meds today. So, um, I saw these because she wants girly, and I was looking for girly stitch markers. These aren't really stitch markers, but they're charms. They're bright, bright pink. And I'm gonna put them they're on so some. Cute. They you really got, are. Like a little bling on the bottom. Cute. I'm going to put them on some jump rings or something to that effect that I already have here. But the great thing is they have a lobster claw on them, so, so you could actually use them as a movable stitch marker, yep. too. Yeah, crochet. I think it's advertised as knit mar uh, stitch marker for knitting or crocheting, because crocheting you would want to move it. Right. But they're really bright. They're, I mean, they match, they match this they match the perfectly. Thing. Perfectly. So that's my other bling. So, um, we forgot one thing, and we really do need to mention it. <laughs> Kim, um, also known as Fredil, Fredla, Fredil, I don't Fredil. know how to say it, gave us, um, gifted us patterns. I got lace leaf scarf, which is a really pretty little scarf. It is. It is and, pretty. Um, it didn't print out nice because my printer was running out of ink. And she gave me the piece ear flap hat. And, which is wonderful because her son loves Rainbows and peace signs. And so <laughs> I'm probably going to do it opposite, and I've talked about it, where the rainbow would be in the peace sign. And I don't want to do white, and it's going because it's um, because he's a boy. Let's face it, it would probably get ruined. I just haven't decided what color would work best. If a navy blue, maybe I could do cream. It wouldn't be so bad. I don't know. But um, this will be cast on soon enough, too. And we wanted just to say thank you very much yes. for the gift pattern. And this also, to mention, we have oh. a virtual knit night. On Sundays. Check our group out. It's on Sundays. Starts that is at 8 p.m. Eastern. That Freydil is Kim. hosting. Or, yeah. well, putting the link up. She's the one who started it. We did it last week. I came late to the game because... It was um, a lot of fun. My oldest goes to bed about 8.30, so I came late to the game. But we wanted to say thank you and hope to get, see you guys at virtual knit night. Yep. See. And here you have it. A rate your date. Rate your date. I finished the bib. This is how it would look if you were using it. <laughs> <laughs> you could use it for a lobster bib. It would be a great lot. You could make it a little bit wider, and it would be the adult size version. That that yeah, looks just increase it a little bit. I know more. that looks so much more normal. <laughs> so now the the mystery of why the other one looks so odd has been solved, and yeah. 
done with that. This, this is a great project. So I'm definitely going to be making those for my friend. You know, you never can have too many bibs. No, but yeah. you really can't. So yes, a finished project for me. Yay. Um, so no, I think that was all my baubles and bling. I don't have any baubles and bling except for the socks. But I am expecting some baubles and bling in the mail for next week. So I'm expecting some this week. Hopefully. Um, I think that's all for baubles. Yeah, gossip and innuendo. Um, when I... You are going to the fiber. I'll do mine first because it's like a, an industry thing. Out of my heartbreak. Um, I'm going to the Big E Fiber Festival with my mom on November 5th in West Springfield, Massachusetts at the Big E um, Convention Center mm -hmm. thing that they have or Fair Center. I will be there until 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I imagine. So if you're going to the Big E and you see me and come up to me and introduce yourself, I will give you a button. Yeah, make sure... Yeah, I gotta remember to bring them, but um, I will give you a button and business cards. And business cards, and I will be taking. I'm gonna do what I did at Stitches. I am gonna take photos of the vendors that I find interesting, and I will do a slideshow with voiceover because that works really well for me. It's not as stressful as trying to film in that crowd, and you can actually hear the information about the vendor that I'm giving you instead of all that um, background noise. Background noise. So I just think that's like the easiest way to do it. So I'll be putting that video out sometime before we record again. So bonus Which video this week. Hopefully we'll record it our regularly. Oh, actually. Oh, no. Wednesdays. At, well, Wednesday we could probably record because Zachary has a dentist appointment, but that's going to take, like, probably 20 minutes. So it just yeah, may be a little later on Wednesday. on Wednesday, but Thursday he has And the good news infusion. is this week, guys, I have backup with my mom. So if I had to be a little late, she could afternoon. get the kids. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I don't think it would happen. but No, but... We're trying then, to get back to our regular yeah, schedule. Yeah, and then Thursday, unfortunately, Zachary's got another appointment. Um, when you have four kids and two in moms in the mix, and, and one kid that has all those doctor's appointments... Medical issues, yeah. It's hard for us to maintain our regular schedule, but we try. And one who works overnight. I know. <laughs> it's not that fun to record with her after she's been up all night. Well, you know what it is? is um, We are shorthanded one overnight person, so this normally we have three to do seven days. Right now we have two, and next week's going to become even more problematic because I will be the only overnight person. Um, one of the bosses will have to pick up the slack oh because she can't work for two weeks because her we're mom, getting, I don't... We're yeah, getting I the know. second coming again over here. <laughs> um, oh, we're almost done. I know. Oh we're God. almost done. And we're doing really good for time this week. We are. Um, so she can't work because her mom and dad are going away and they're usually the ones that stay home with the kids. Yeah. So it would be like if Cam goes away, I can't work overnight because there's no one here to watch the kids. So uh, it'll be interesting. I'll probably be doing a lot of four shift weeks in the next coming weeks so it'll be interesting so if next week i've worked a double in a row you might be <laughs> i know i hope Sorry. not it's hard to record with her when she's like that i'm sorry so, so moving from, on to her gossip and innuendo i'm going in the general direction of where wendy is <laughs> we're going to deerfield to see, uh, to visit the yankee candle company now i'm going with two of my friends uh we've been looking at like five or six weekends and I originally told him this weekend wasn't going to work and uh, for several different reasons and then she came back saying you sure this weekend can't work because it's really the only time they can do it I'm like all right I'll talk to Cam and he's not actually happy because he's got to take the kids to several different oh my god he's not going to be happy they got a birthday party tomorrow too so oh he's nah. not going to be happy anyways uh so we're going to the Yankee Candle Company She's going to be about 20 miles away from where and I And it's funny because <laughs> one of the girls wrote back, she goes, I'm so excited to buy candles. And I'm like, yeah, if it was yarn, I'd be there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. This is the, only the second year they've done the Big E Fiber Festival. It's not the Big E Fair. No, that's, that's in September. Like in September. This is a Fiber Festival related thing. And um, they're having a ton of vendors. I checked well, it out on the website. Right you should PM Melissa, see if she's going. Oh, yeah, there. Maybe, maybe she's going. She lives near there. Yeah. I will PM Melissa. Um, I'm, I'm sad that I'm not going, but this is a friend that I've been friends with since college and um, has a lot had a lot of issues going on, so. Yeah, and um, you want to get together. I do want to get together. and um, Sometimes friends are more important than yarn. It's hard to believe, but sometimes Well, uh, you know, that's are. the other thing. I really <laughs> don't need any more yarn. And I tend to buy sock yarn, and I looked at my sock drawer, yarn drawer and I really, and you know really don't you can it. go to this next year 
You know what I mean? It's not going to go anywhere. We're really... Yeah, I know. It's... It's Weird. not good. We no, it's to, not good at all. We need to cover both the windows. <laughs> we have lighting next issues. Year, no matter, uh, next week, it no must be what. the angle of the sun at this time of year. All oh, of it's going to be different because we got, we yeah. change our clocks back, so maybe it won't be an issue next week. Oh, it, and, it, and it won't be. <laughs> it will take too long for it, yeah. yeah. All right. So um, that's all I have. Um, like we said, big reminder, if you haven't joined the Ravelry group, do it before we reach 502. Two. <laughs> because um, if we make that number, and I think we will make it by next week, we only have 10 more people. We did 12. like 20 last week, so yeah, I definitely could People see. are joining for the prizes, and I yeah, don't okay. blame them. I'm sorry, we've got some good ones. Um, so on that note, if you're watching us on iTunes, please leave a star rating or a comment rating for any of the podcasts that you watch or listen. We really do appreciate it. And it does help us, um, maintain popularity. We've gotten popularity. some wonderful, wonderful reviews. Yes, Which we I'm have. very excited. I love reading our I love reviews. Reading and it does help us get up on the front. All the knitting podcasts get pushed up to the top of the, um... Above the woodworking. What's new, what's available. Above the... Those freaking woodworkers. <laughs> I like. Are there a ton of men that watch woodworking video podcasts? I just don't understand it. Well, the surprising fact is how many people watch video podcasts for knitting alone. I know. So let's not. Well, let's beat the woodworkers. Come on. We're better than that. And if you need to reach us, we are reachable at knitoneheart2 at gmail.com. She checks it. I check it every day. I check it periodically, day. but. I know. check it every day. Just about, because um, also I get my information from Plark on there. Yeah, that's right. We're on Plark as Knit One Heart 2. We share an account, but it's mostly me. Yeah, I, I get on there. She's more of a Pinterest, so if you are on Pinterest. I'm on Pinterest all the time. She's Knit One Heart 2. No, I'm Knit One Wendy. Heart. Oh, Knit One Wendy? And I'm Knit One Wendy on Twitter, but most of the tweets are from Sheila's Plark, Plarking. So. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm Knit One Heart 2 on Pinterest and tweet Twitter. Yeah. And Join Pinterest. is super fun. Yeah, she's more of the Pinterest. I'm not the Pinterest person. Uh, although, I will have to say, side note, I use Pinterest. Um, if you notice, we got a new light fixture. Yeah. So I, I pinned a bunch of lights, and I showed them to Kim. and goes, oh, I like this one. See? That's it's what, right. That's oh what my God, it was so crazy. I'm work. like, see these colors? I like this color. My husband was like, oh, yeah, I like it, that. I can't it even, totally works. Because what, what was great is I went to a couple different sites. He goes, oh, I like this one. I like this one. And I, he goes, why don't we go to wherever we went? I think Lowe's. And, um... We ended up getting, I don't think that was one that I actually pinned, but it, it was brand new in their display, so it right. wasn't on their website yet. But it was so much easier instead of me going, well, he has a site that I've gone to. He has a site I've gone to. It was so much easier, and I've done it for some recipes as well. And for men, it's a lot easier for them if you present them with a page of, like, six choices. Exactly. Than it is for you to have them browse, because my husband, can, he... He would be browsing for weeks. Well, it was just so know. funny because I showed him my page. He goes, oh, I like that one and that one. I said, awesome. He goes, how'd you do that? I said, <laughs> I know, my husband. And I have, I have a Christmas gift page. All of the gifts that I see on the Internet that I would be interested in or that I need or whatever, I link it. I put the price on there, and I'm going to email him the link to the page, and that way he can see at one glance, everything that I would be interested in, and they range from like a dollar to three hundred dollars. They're all different things. I haven't gotten that far. And um, all he has to do is click on it, takes him right to the website where he can order it. I will say one thing on Pinterest though, it works much better if you are on Safari web really? paging because you have that little thing that you can drag up and do pin. Oh, it, I, pin I, it. you can also get that on um, Fox. Yeah, Fox but on Fire. internet. The Explorer Internet, I don't think you can do that. I don't know. Um, I so have, I use Foxfire, but um, We yeah. use Safari. Uh, well, I use Safari on Cam's thing it's when not, I want to do Pinterest. Otherwise, it's not I typically really easy use to use Pinterest Explorer. on an iPad. It is not no, because, iPad um, friendly. No, it isn't. But when I'm on Cam's computer, I'll use Safari. Yeah, that um, little bookmarklet thing that you click on is awesome. Same thing as Ravelit. Uh, Ravelit has... Yeah, you have that little click yeah. thing. But uh, I tell you, that is, if I have to do any other search for the house with Cam, I will definitely do that again. Yeah, because it, works I, the, out it really made great. paint shopping so, so easy. So, besides, <laughs> sidetrack, sidetrack uh, completely. Anyway, but we we're already still did all our minutes. Stuff. So, yeah. um, <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, if you need the show notes, which I promise they will be up sooner, um, they may be under a post, depending. Like, I might put them up now and then you do your own post. You yeah. Know? All It'll right. still work. Uh, you can see them at knitoneheart2.blogspot.com. And before we get blown out with the sun that all of a sudden decide to come out, 
We'll see you guys next week. Knit with heart. Knit with heart. Bye. Bye.